No. Welcome to Pavlov, your favorite dog channel. The background is the real sky. It's not fake. Today we're going to talk about how to train your dog not to jump on people. Uh, it's one of the most requested uh, training and I also know it's one of, one of the most viewed uh, training on internet. The reason why I haven't posted anything like that is because I actually didn't train my dog how they shouldn't jump, uh, jump on people. And let me explain. In my video, you will see allow, I allow my dog to jump on people in my house. Um, in my house, that's socially acceptable. I allow my dogs to jump on people as long as they apply common sense. They know how far they can go and when to stop. Um, but if you are training a new puppy without misleading anyone or confusing anyone, if you are training a new puppy, uh, the puppy doesn't know anything yet, I would be very consistent. Don't confuse the puppy. So if you want to train puppy not to jump on people, then you'll, you'll be firm about it. Um, so not sometimes you can jump, sometimes you can't jump. In my, in my opinion, if a dog is a jumper, that's how they like to greet people. They tend to do that once in a while, even if you say no. But once you teach them not to jump on people, um, they will be very gentle when they jump. Some dogs jump on people, some dogs don't. The two stars in my channel, Benji never ever jump on anyone. Never ever. And Amber is a jumper. How come I don't train her not to jump on people? Because she follow my command. So if I say down or no, you know, she knows what that means. If you have very good basic training at home, she understand set, come, stay, and all the basic I talked about before. If she know all these commands and she actually follow them when, when you tell her, then you really don't have to teach your dog not to jump on people because by the time you say no, they know what that means. But today we're gonna to talk about how you train your dog not to jump on people if you want to include that into your training program. Let's understand why dogs, dogs jump on you or your guests. It's excitement. First of all, if your dog jump on people, you or anyone else, make sure no one greets them with very high energy. Meaning, oh, what a cute puppy! Oh, Benji! Oh, Amber! See, see how they responded? They pick up your energy so fast. If you do anything like that, you wonder why they jump on you. So when you good, greet your dog, just be nice and calm, walk in, even no eye contact, just walk into your house. Uh, that would help for the start. If you can control the assignment, it's like most of the impulse control on the streets that we talked about before. If your dog is excited, you have a way to communicate with the dog to calm down, all right? Or letting your dog know that behavior is, is an inappropriate. You can greet people in a different way. So in theory, if I got a dog jumping on me, I say, hey, no, down. They should go immediately down. And if I have guests come into my house, I say, heal, sit or stay. That's, that, if that's what they do, you don't really have a problem with dog jumping on people. Amber, sit. Sit. Then she sit. Stay. Hello, Tim. You told you I'm coming over? Yes. Amber, jump up again. Damn. Good girl, down. Amber down, good girl. There we go. Hey, hey, hey! Not to the face. Get up. Yeah. Amber down, down. Okay, good. All right. She's a jumper. And once the guest comes through the door, you greet your guest. You tell them to, um, to sit and you know get to the down position when you're talking to your guest. They should be by your side. I have a regular church meeting held. On Mondays in my house every night every Monday night and that's what I do when guests come in if the guest doesn't like dogs and you know some people don't like dogs and then I try to keep my dog away from them by telling my dog to stay with me but some so some people love dogs and I will allow my dog to play with them uh, I don't really like dog licking me not my face or my hands but some people love it and I allow them to do that but when I when the meeting is about to start I'll get the dog to sit next to me I'll sit down and because I do this every Monday, when I say heel or right, down, they know exactly what to do. I'll be sitting in my beanbag uh, and they will just fall asleep in about 30 seconds because they know 
I do this every Monday when I'm tell me to sit down. Then it's time to rest because I'm going to be sitting here for like an hour or two, actually two hours. Uh, so that's my routine. Amber, come. <laughs> oh, Amber, yeah, 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 yeah. Venture, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good boy. Good boy. If your dog is already an adult, it's been living with you for a while and it's still jumping on people. First of all, it could be high energy. Second, uh, second, it could be very excited. But can I ask you, if you ask your dog to sit and stay, would it do it? And if it does, would it do it for like a minute, 60 seconds, all right? Or maybe two minutes, 120 seconds. That is important because if you don't, then your dog is not really following a command. Its attention span is too short. Even if it does follow your, your command, the attention span is too short. You get someone come into the house and make it excited, then you will lose control. If your dog jump on you, when you sit down, in theory, if it's a, if it's a obedient trained dog, it should just go down. So jumping on people, showing its emotions, its, its assignment to see you or your guest, it's not really a problem. The problem to me is if your dog decided to jump or has a tendency it's about to jump and when you see it you say down would it follow the instruction that's i Come. think that's the important part okay because Come. to me as far as i understand boy. The, the dogs that like to jump on people will always do right it will it, some even if you suppress it to the max at some point in, in its life, especially if it's a young dog, like uh, 12 months old or, you know, before five years old, if it's too excited to see someone, that's what they want to do. They want to jump. They want to get close to your face. They want to lick your face. They want to greet you face to face. So if you are having this problem, uh, I think it's important to focus on all the basic trainings. Do not just focus on uh, the jumping. Do everything. You, you know, sit down, stay and all that. When you say something, your dog understands it and actually follows it. Understanding and not following it is not good enough. If your dog is obedient trained, this should be very simple to solve. It wouldn't be a problem at all. Another method, obviously, is using toy or treats because when you have toys or treats, your dog tend to be more focused on the toy or treats if they were food driven or uh, play drive driven. So if I have a guest or if I'm having, uh, if I come home, I don't want a dog to jump on me. I will have the, its favorite toy prepared or its uh, treat prepared. So if it's jumping on me, I'll disengage. But if it's... Um, if it's not jumping on me, I'll make sure the tree is available just a little bit of time and I make sure I deliver it to a low position so it's not jumping up on me, you know. Tell it to sit. Once it sits, give it a treat. Tell it to stay nice and calm. The word no, the vocabulary no, I think comes out naturally from our mouth when we engage it with our dog. And by the time the dog reach uh, 12 weeks, I think you would probably understand the word no. So when they jump up, you say no, but when they go down, good boy or good girl, give them a treat. That would also work quite well. If you live with your dog, you, when your dog's just about to jump on people, I bet you can see it coming. All the dog owners who knows their dog will see it coming. So if you are seeing it coming, you tell your dog, hey, heel, sit, or if you want, if you have a bed or something, go crate or place, go, go to place, stay. That should be the end of it. It should be easy, okay. right? And you get your dog to come and sit next to you when you talk to your guest. They'll come down after like a minute or two. If your dog is a puppy, it's learning everything. Everything's brand new. And um, that's fine. You just need to start with all the basic trainings. But let's talk about training just for uh, not jumping on people. Because some of you are watching this, you may be uh, just getting an eight weeks old puppy. And they, they, they are not obedient trained. So let's talk about how to train your dog not to jump on people. So first of all, if your dog jumps on you, um, you can just turn around. It's a lot easier uh, to communicate with your dog yourself because um, it's your dog, right? When you turn around, you're telling your dog, I don't like this. And they want to show the excitement. They want to show affection. But when you turn around, you soon realize, okay, when I jump on you, uh, it's not so fun. And when you turn around, the moment when they come down, you praise them, you can give them a treat or you, you praise them. They will soon understand, okay, you prefer me staying on my, um, standing on the ground instead of jumping on you. The dogs always try to work with you and have a good time with you. You know, they want to have a good time. 
So for us, it's just figuring out uh, how do we communicate that. So for training, first of all, I always make sure there's a lead on my dog inside the house if I'm expecting someone to be there. And I'll also communicate with the, the guests that I'm training my dog so um, they understand what's going to happen. And when they come in, I would take, I would just say, hey, can we just use a few minutes just to train him up? And your guest doesn't have to do anything. They just, they just have to stand there by the door. And you just take your dog towards the guest one step at a time, only if he's calm. When you start to go <laughs> jumping around, start to move around, not sitting, when you command it to sit, then you don't take a step forward. They will soon realize, okay, if I start to to focus on you, I get to get what I want. It's more about preventing the dog to jump in the first place. Once they approach the guest really close, the dog should demonstrate very calm energy. If he has the tendency to, to want to jump on the guest, he can take a couple of steps back. So he knows, okay, if I want to come towards the guest, I have to be calm. If your dog's jumping on the guests, uh, I highly recommend you uh, practice this drill with your friends. You know, you kind of stage it. Let your friends come in, knock on the door, tell your friends, uh, let's do, I'm doing my dog training, can you help me out? You should have your dog on the lead. And if your friends are coming in, make sure your dog is staying very calm before you go and open the door or allow your dog to greet the guests. If it doesn't, you hold the lead. Uh, get a dog stay in sit position. Once they are calm, you move yeah. forward a little bit and a little, right. and a little bit at a time. It's very similar to the right. um, the gate manner we talked right. about before, right? If they are out of control, we don't go. We don't open a door. Right. You don't go to the gate. But if you are calm, you. It's, you. it should be very straightforward, and the dog will soon learn that you. if I do this, okay, I'll get that. Having your dog tied somewhere else, looking at the guests come in, going back and forth, barking and all that doesn't help. You, 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 what you're trying to train your dog is to train its mind. It, by restraining your dog at the corner, far away from your guests, doesn't help at all. Um, I suggest if your dog does jump on people and it's, it's a bit of a nuisance, do take the time and train them. One thing you do not want to do is start wrestling with your dog. So you keep pulling the lead, pulling the lead, uh, and your dog just... <laughs> You know, you just want to go forward. That doesn't help you. You're just driving him crazy and he wants to uh, wrestle with you more. It gets them even more excited. So it's about a mind game. You have to uh, sort of just take it easy. If the dogs come, then we move forward. If he doesn't, nothing, nothing happens for the dog. How to train your dog not to jump. Or well, I guess I also train you how you can allow your dog to jump. I hope that helps. If you got any more questions, flick me a text below. I have been posting a lot more videos recently uh, about vlogging and I think it's quite great because I I kind of feel bored just doing it like you know one-way communication and the recent blogs I got a few more comments people asking questions telling me how they feel you know not just questions they they express their opinions and um, I actually get to see some of your dogs that's so great so keep it coming see you next time I hope you enjoy this okay go